Griffin has got off to a great start. Great four check. What? Darren Helms with the ups, get it, help with the back kidding me? Look at the hand. That's sweet. They brought him in to be Mr. Reliable. Look at the hook right there. And Abe Kubel just throws it in. And look at the sweet miss. Look like Miko ran in front of that all that time and space. Hey, no defense around. Why do you think there were 11 goals scored tonight? It went both ways, baby. Yeah, one of those Senators came storming right back, playing the neutral zone. All of a sudden, it's three on two. Brady Kachuk going to deliver a nasty wrister. We're tied. Well, if you want to know if Brady Kachuk uh, has a hard shot, watch this thing. Just watch the back of the net. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he just steps into it. So he's lethal from anywhere. Tops of the circles. Wow, that's a beauty. One day, that man could score 50 goals. He had a couple tonight. 30 seconds later, another kind of mistake. Ends up in the back of the net. Back-to-back -back lapses, and this time it's Austin Watson. Well, like I said, another kind of mistake. That was just a full-blown mistake. Right. <laughs> Here it is. Went over this in the first period. Uh, we had a turnover, and uh, boy, what can I say? One of the best defensive players. Well, Av's got a power play, and they waste no time. No McCarr. Now Taves like, all right, well, let me give it a shot. Oh, one timer. Wow. In the sweep play, we got an awesome deflection by Gabe Landeskog. You can't see it there, but if we get the super duper Dave Mo right here, Laura, do it right off the toe. Oh, that is sweet and sexy. Gabe Landeskog getting it done. I think that's two games in a row that Gabe's scored from there. Potentially. Right. He's. Seventy seconds into the second. Tim Stotzel, here we go. Jack Johnson, they slam into Johansson. And go ahead, Riker, explain this. Bottom line is, if our player causes the net to come off the moorings and the puck is on its way to the net, it's a goal. Doesn't matter if the puck, if the net is off the moorings or not, but it's on its way in. Our defenseman causes the play. Therefore, the call. And they get that break right there. They get a break later. I mean, it's just a game of inches. Well. Shabbat floating up top. Josh Norris going to sniff it out, and all of a sudden it's 4-2. Yeah, we went over this one here. Just a little shot at the net. We had a defensive miscue between Burakovsky and McKinnon tried to cover him. Then I got your guy. Who's got your guy? I got nobody. Wait a minute. Who's got that guy? Nobody. Wide open back in the net. Keith, you could have potted that one. Well, Sens get a power play eight minutes into the second. Tim Sessel is going to do some surgery right here. That match is just cool. Eric Johnson's awesome defenseman. But, you know, with Johnny Louser, you slide out at the player. You always slide towards the player, so then you slide closer to him as you go, as opposed to sliding out of the frame. And that's what you call a snipe. Well, moments later, one of the prettier goals you'll see this season, Alex Newhook dancing and dealing, and he's going to bury it top shelf. And that is just gross. I had no idea that his first three steps were this quick. Boy, he is shifty and he is quick. Folks, we might be onto something here. We had our sources in Loveland say he is going to be awesome. He loves his hats, his flair. He's a confident guy. But you don't score goals like that if you're not confident. Okay, so you're back into it. Two minutes into the third. Delayed penalty for the Avs. Here's where McKinnon's patience pays off. He just tone one down. He could have slapped it. He didn't. And look at old Tyson. Joe's in front, just grinding. You know, he's changing his game. He's doing what he's got to do to be a solid NHLer. Third liner, second liner, kill a penalty. He's in the tough paint, works his tail off. I like Tyson's Joe's game. For game one this year. Deep. Late in the game, Avs get what they're looking breeze. for, but it's all for not. Landeskog is going to rip one, and it's going to go top corner, but the puck came outside the zone. We all knew. And you know, when they showed Landeskog's face on the bench, he knew. He had the best look of anybody on it, but you got to play it out. And it just, oh, mm. so close, eh? What are the odds? There it is. That's a great look. Boy, that's a by All right, under two captain. minutes. Taps to look at that miracle. And they get it because McKinnon's going to feed a juicy one. And Tay's going to pump it in from 60. Boy, the Avalanche are doing a tremendous job this year of clogging the front of the net. Look, everybody's there. They're all just hunting for rebounds. That's how you do it. There are a lot of great things about their game right now. It's just when you're not winning, we focus on some negative sometimes. So they would send it to OT. They get the point. That's key, but here Brady Kachuk just taps it and he's off to the races and unfortunately they're not going to catch him. He got the first Senator's goal, he got the last Senator's goal. Yeah, watch this right here. I don't, McKinnon doesn't see Kachuk, he's kind of hiding behind Nichushkin. Kachuk makes a phenomenal play. Do you know he could skate this fast? Were they all that tired? No, I'm telling you folks, mark my words, the next great power forward right there, Brady Kachuk, I do believe he'll score 50 goals eventually. He's on a good young team. Man, I'm glad he's out east. <laughs> yeah, me too. Stay out there. 6-5, your final. Ottawa Senators, that's two games in a row. They beat Carolina two games ago. They beat Colorado tonight.